So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now, I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very in-depth build that I made a whole video on previously. I'll briefly describe the build after I show you the location of today's Lost Sector. The exotic armor in rotation today is Chest. Today we'll be clearing with just one class, but there are builds for all three classes in the description. And with that out of the way, what's good guys, it's Zen, thanks for choosing my channel, and let's hop right into today's guide. Now for today's Lost Sector, we're going to have to deal with Overload and Unstoppable Champions, and with that in mind, we're going to be using my second chance build with a Hand Cannon, Luminarch, and the Hothead Rocket Launcher. Now the Hand Cannon is here to stun those Unstoppable Champions, Luminarch is here due to its heavy damage and the fact that it stuns Overload Champions, and the rocket is here because it is arc and it obviously has that 25% damage boost due to the arc surge lasting all season. Now guys, there is so much more going on with this build. I mean, we literally have infinite weekend and I used this build to solo a GM last season. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's going to be in the description. But with that being said, let's hop right into the guide. All right. Now the first thing you're going to have to do when you enter this lost sector is just clear out this small group of ads here. As you can see, just one shot is absolutely a obliterating everything because of that poison debuff that it applies to all the ads and they have very very little health then another group of ads is going to spawn and the reason why we're taking care of them is you see the unstoppable champion is ahead if we just went ahead and skipped these guys they would run up behind us when we were trying to deal with the unstoppable so i do like to kill them you could also just throw your grenade to deal with them really easily now this is a separate group of ads that did move from forward just take care of them and now we can deal with the unstoppable champion and that's what we have our hand cannon here to do but again another group of ads these guys just are all on top of us today i don't know we have thrall candy on us they can smell it gotta hit him with the stun and you see we got the weakened buff going so each rocket is doing about half of his health, and keep in mind we're 30 levels under power, so if you guys aren't, if you guys are a sufficient power level, he's going to be absolutely melted. I bet 1830, he's like 90% of his HP with one rocket shot. And then from there, we're just going to proceed forward and deal with these adds. Now, if you're running a different type of build, one that I do recommend is my Arc Hunter build. If you guys are, are, are using Hunter, definitely going to want to hop on Arc, because the biggest part that adds time into this Lost Sector run is not only power level, but it's also just straight up ad clear and that is what the arc hunter build excels at now moving forward we're gonna have to deal with one unstoppable and an overload champion and that's where Lemonarch is really gonna shine Lemonarch does have that intrinsic overload as you may not be aware of and it just absolutely fries them excellently so now the unstoppable is in our face and it's gonna be the same thing guys we're just gonna stun him hit him with the weaken and then hit him with two rockets and then we can finish him from that point really really easy stuff like this is guys this lost sector is so damn easy honestly you don't even need a guide for it but i appreciate you hitting me with the view <laughs> uh this is just one of the easiest lost sectors in the game you know so if you're i mean obviously you're watching it today do not miss out on this you guys are definitely going to want to farm this while it's still here if you need the exotic armor in rotation today now moving forward just gonna have to deal with this barrier or rather this overload champion now one thing to keep in mind if you are not jumping left to right you will potentially get slowed as you see i'm slowed 25 percent that is so annoying if you get frozen by this guy like specifically during the boss there's also some other ads that also slow you down so you guys are going to want to be strafing left to right so that you don't get stuck by it because if you get frozen and then the boss is able to actually do some damage to you that combination can actually wipe you which is quite annoying it's gonna make your runs much slower obviously you're gonna have to respawn and then run back so keep that in mind watch out for that slow now again we're just gonna have to do a bit of ad clear and it's taking so much time because our only method of ad clear here is our shield throw which we don't want to use on these guys you know it does weaken with the second chance and additionally uh it, it, what we're gonna have to do is just use our bow so those are all, only two methods of ad clear which is quite annoying now you see what I'm saying these guys up here these guys also slow and this is the boss room so if they slow you and then the boss does some damage to you that combination will kill you it's super super annoying so keep that in mind guys now one thing to note about this section here is after you kill all but one of these enemies standing on this platform, the boss will spawn, and that includes the Overload Champion, so what I recommend to you is to make sure the Overload Champion is actually dead, and leave one of those slowing enemies, leave one of those like lesser adds alive, because you don't want to be dealing with an Overload Champion and the boss, even though those guys slow you, you know, it's definitely 
way better to have them alive than to have the Overload alive. You don't want to deal with a champion and a boss at the same time. And another thing is this boss just absolutely falls over to any amount of damage. Like I think we're going to use our super here, but I, I really think that he dies to like three rockets, guys. Really, really easy stuff. Now, when you do pull out those rockets, you're going to want to shoot as fast as possible because if you wait too long, you know, all the ads are going to disperse and you want to get the most bang for your buck. You know, the rocket obviously has that huge AoE effect, so you're going to want to kill as many ads as possible with it. That way you have less stuff shooting at you. So the second he spawns, actually go ahead and swing your rocket. But just like that, we didn't even have to use our super. Really, really easy farm today, guys. Definitely going to want to hop in. Do not miss out on this. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.